adventurous bakers welcome to my channel i am susan and i am the host of susie's cakes recipes so in my commercial bread recipe video i made a promise i was going to dedicate a particular video or an article about dough conditional dough enhancer bread improver so this is that particular video now for you to understand this very well you have to click on the link in the description box beneath this video for a step-by-step -step procedure about how this works both how the commercial dough conditioner works and also how the natural dough conditioner works i left so many tips so many secrets that you've never heard before to all returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and for all new viewers welcome to my channel i hope at the end of this video you will see a reason to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to notified of all my recipes that i share once every week so let's get started with two natural doing answer i'm starting with water room i'm just going to make use of ordinary water room temperature water and flour your regular upwards flour you can also use bread flour now there's a particular ratio for this it's what i call one part of flour and five parts of water ratio one part of flour and five parts of water ratio now you can only understand this if you read up the article which i left the link in the description box beneath this video so what i'm just going to do is to pour my flour and pour my water into a saucepan and i'm going to stir this up well together then i'm going to set my my pan and place it on low heat and i'll keep stirring it continuously so that the mixture doesn't burn till i get a thick mixture so the first thing i did was to stir my flour and stir my water together mix them together make sure there are no lumps there is no heat under this saucepan yet you just have to make sure you stir it well that there are no lumps before you turn on the heat of your of your stove or your your cooking gas make sure it's well mixed there are no lumps in it then you stir now this is what i'm looking for and then i'm going to turn on the heat of my cooking gas and i'm going to be cooking this on very low heat you don't want to rush the process you want to do it on low heat and you see me stirring at the same time while i'm cooking on low heat if you don't stir your water is going to get burnt now the ratio for doing this like i said is ratio one to five that is one part of of flour to five parts of water ratio one to five you will have to click on the link beneath this video to understand how this works now the one part of flour and five parts of water formula is not an additional flour or additional water it is from the same measurement of flour and water that you measured for your bread or your dinner that's where you're going to take the one part of flour and one part and five parts of water from and this is very very simple don't let it um get you confused or discouraged it's very simple once you read up the article you understand how this works now this is ready this is the thickness i'm looking for that when you move your spatula in the mixture it leaves a line that cannot close quickly exactly like this is what you're looking for this is the particular water rule i use for my fluffiest chinese sausage bread roll recipe you can see the link up in this video or beneath this video in the description box so what i'm going to do next is to turn this into a mixing bowl a bowl and i'm going to allow it to come down to room temperature it's not going to be hot it's not going to be warm just come back come down to room temperature and i'll use it straight for my bread recipe of my donut recipe add it to my donut recipe my bread recipe this is just how you make water right this is a japan japanese method of natural dough conditioner and it is very very popular very very popular now the next one is scattered flour this scattered flour is another very very popular natural dough conditioner that is perfect it does the same work as your as your 
water roux and the difference between this and the water roux is that you are not boiling this you are not going to cook it you are only going to use boiling water the water should not be warm it should not be lukewarm but it must be boiling and they are going to add that boiling water to your flour the measurement or the formula for this is 20 to 25 percent of the total weight of water and flour 20 to 25 percent of the total weight of flour and water that is just the measurement of this now you can only understand this like i said when you read up the article i let a detailed a detailed procedure on how to understand it on how to get the formula so even if you're making a large quantity of bread or large quantity of donuts it's very very simple to understand so the water is hot be very careful so i don't get yourself burnt so i'm go going to turn the water into the flour I'll turn it into, into the flour. You are going to stir immediately. I'm only going to be using my hand wigs. You're not using the mixer for this. You're not using the mixer, no stand mixer, no cake mixer, nothing. Just use your hand wigs. Now, once I I pour the hot water, the boiling water into my flour, I'm going to stir this up quickly. Stir it up quickly, but carefully, so that you don't get yourself burned like this, just like this. Now I'm going to switch over to a spatula to help me mix it up well. The reason why I use a wix at first is so that I don't have lumps in the, in the mixture. So I'm going to just stir this up well with my spatula. Make sure when, when, whenever you are changing over from a spatula to whenever you are changing over from a hand wix rather to a spatula, you are you are scraping up every crumbs, every every particle of your scattered flour from your wicks. It's very important because it's part of the measurement. Make sure you scrape it up well. Then you mix with your spatula. Mix it up well so that the water and the flour are well incorporated into one another. Now, just like the water rule, this is not an additional flour or additional water it is from the measurement of your flour and your water in your bread recipe i'm going to take take from and i'm going to make this scattered flour it's very simple and these are the two natural dough, dough conditioner i've been using for years instead i'm using water i'm using scattered flour or i'm using apple cider vinegar or vinegar this these are what I usually use for my natural dough conditioner. So if you've been wondering about how we get my consistent, perfect donuts, that consistent texture, consistent flavor, this is one of the secrets. To all new viewers, please, please, it's time for you to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up, turn on my notification bell to be notified of all my simple recipes that I share once every week. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to be covering this with a plastic wrap or a cling film. Covering this with a plastic wrap or a cling film. I'm going to be leaving it for at least one hour not lesser than an hour you must leave it for an hour leave it for an hour in a cool dry place now if you want to get a better result a good result you can leave it for 5 to 12 hours 12 hours maximum it gives you a better result i'm not rushing to make donuts or make bread i just leave it for for five hours five hours five to twelve hours perfect shouldn't be lesser than one hour now, if i'm leaving it for five hours you can decide to keep it in your fridge make sure it's cooled completely it's not hot it's not warm before you put it in the fridge but if you are not leaving it for five hours just keep it in your work surface or your work surface and after an hour you can make use of it and if you don't still have a fridge and you want to leave it for five to twelve hours it's still very fine just keep it in your in a cool dry place and this is ready i just notice a difference when I first added the flour and the water together and mix, the mixture was a little bit thick. 
it was very thick but now the mixture is not going to be thick again as thick as it was and look at it the the mixture looks wet this is how it's going to look like after an hour this is just how scattered flour looks like it's very very simple now i want to see what you're able to create with this particular dough condition and to your bread pictures and to your donut pictures and also to tag me with the hashtag Susie's cakes recipes either on facebook or on on instagram I'll, I'll respond and i'll repost so let me see your tags thank you so much i really want to see what you are able to create from it to all you subscribers your subscribers thank you for your support thank you for your likes your share your comments and your feedback and look at the difference you can see the scattered flour as it looks a little bit lumpy it looks wet compared to the water room and these are two popular natural do enhancer thank you for watching see you next week